Hey up everybody, I want it next instalment of my sweet pea build that I'm doing. Perhaps if you've not seen the first part of these in my last video, you might have to take a look back. I'm up to the point where I'm ready for drilling these brasses. That's what they call them in the book anyway. Um, for this connecting rod on this side, once I've got them drilled, I can fasten them together, uh, machine this hole in for the crank where it fits on the crank pin. Quick update for anybody that's following me that might be making one of these. The way I'm doing it is not set in stone. It's up to you how, how you do it. This is just my method. Uh, there's many methods that this could be done. But anyway, I've uh, I've got these bars cut to length, and it doesn't call for a thread on thread on them on the drawing. It just says uh, stick them into the relevant parts and then silver solder them but I'm going to belt and brace mine I've put a, I've put a quarter inch by 26 thread on so like I said before one of them ends is going to go into that when I've drilled it and then the other end will go into this that steel piece then silver soldered in um, so now I've got these drilled I've put some smaller screws in and clamped them all up ready for machining that hole these are the proper screws so when I've got this machined I've got to tap this end 4BA where the screw is going to thread in and I've got to open these three parts up not this one these three for clearance on 4BA and then that light as the nut when I screw it screw them together
Right, well, let's have a little bit of an update then. Uh, I've got these to size, put the radius on each side, on both of them. So what I've got to do now, I've got to I've got to dismantle them, drill and tap this hole for this to fit in. Then I've got to put this one of the well both of these in four jaw, drill and tap for that to go in, put the hole in but not bush it, uh, and then it's all ready for silver soldering then. Once I've got that silver soldered in, I can uh, drill and tap this one, this side, for the bolt to come through with a clearance in these three. So the bolt will come in and then this will be this will be the nut, so to speak, to clamp it all together. You could put a lock nut on the other side if you wanted. And then once I've got all that to that point, then it's got to go back in lathe as a whole piece like that. Um, and I'm going to machine the radius on the sides.